left in the game. Still, I never get tired of saying that, but you may be tired of hearing it. So how is about we move up and get some more gold? I mean, kind of have to. I'm feeling good and walking through people. Don't think anyone can stop me. Not even up a weight class. Let's do it. Of course, welcome back, guys. I'm Fantastic today. My name is Osha. Welcome back to some more UFC for career mode. Took a day off yesterday, uh, but we are back and we're finally up. One division. All I see from Patera are average skills against mediocre opponents. I don't know what all the hype is about. Okay, dude. I don't decide what's hype or not. I'm just here to give the fans what they want. Knockouts. I mean, we don't. We only did that like last match. How about you put your money where your mouth is? Let's see how you do against these average skills. You called me out, bro. You gotta get used to it. Also, who else is on uh, social media with me? I didn't mean to do that. Actually, so that it stops. Never mind. Social media, who's. The fans want it, the media wants it, most importantly, me and Patera want it. So we're ready to give the fans a super fight. Wait, I'm going against you? Why did I think I was in, like, light heavyweight division? With, like, Izzy and stuff. Glad to see is as excited as I am for this super fight. This is great for the sport, great for the UFC, and great for the fans. I mean, I guess we'll do that. So, I'm going against Masvidal for the welterweight title, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure he's welterweight champion, yeah. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there it is, welterweight. Okay. Sounds good. Winner take all match in the welterweight division. Okay, new cutscene. <laughs> Who could have fixed this, huh? I mean, I always knew you were something special, but... But this, this is next level. Only a handful of fighters have become double champs in the UFC. Some very rare company. And Ty, good. All right, at the end of the night, though, remember, it's just a fight. Stay focused on the task at hand. We can worry about finding more trophy space in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, I still love that gold and black uh, gear. Where we go, time to become two-time champions. Also, I've never once heard our uh, champion, uh, uh, what's it called, right, intro. Go with one of the biggest fights the Octagon has ever hosted. He came in a UFC champion. He is trying to exit as a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. This super fight is finally here. Let's see how it plays out. All right, lightning fast, hand speed, dangerous KO power. I mean, we've only KO'd one person. And won 12 fights in a row. We've won more than that. We've won like 20. Also, we're still undefeated, if you haven't noticed. In UFC. And probably after this, I'll go ahead and uh, showcase our uh, GOAT uh, progress. And here comes the second champion. Undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that the question tonight with a powerful challenger out of that Also, he has like 60 matches played, I'm pretty sure. Which or uh, matches played, I don't know what I'm saying. Um 60 matches that he participated in over his entire career, which is pretty insane to think about. Debuted in the Octagon on, in 2012, won 42 matches. So yeah, he's definitely uh, going to be a pretty tough opponent. But there's space for only one person with that uh, gold and black uh, boxer shorts. Dude, I love that picture. The double champions. Also, we are not 170 pounds, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're still like 155. John Favreau again. Dang it, I forgot and the person's name. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! 
dude. This honestly gets me so hyped. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and holding a professional record of 23 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Pantera. Oh, they don't say lightweight champion. champion okay. That's unfortunate. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 42 wins, 18 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. Yeah, exactly 60 matches. Already. This is probably going to be a 61st. Standing undisputed USC welterweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, my fight. Dude, the disrespect from our guy but to be honest what's with those braids my guy this man just has two ponytails and he has and he still has this lame intro when we have this sick intro look at this boom flex those muscles all right let's go all right touch gloves yep all right champion trying to get off to a good start tonight as he pursues a belt in a second division he's been talking about mega fights and super fights dating to the early days of his ufc Wait, career Here are we is, not putting our title on line? i guess not let's see if he can become a simultaneous two division ufc champion all right, so he's a boxer, I mean, so reach like he's this? mostly gonna luxury. I've never use had the punches career, that are gonna do a ton of damage. You struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Oh God! Strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice. Back and forth we go here. Oh god. Alright, come back here. Single collar tie now. There we go. Take him down. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. Right. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Beautiful movement, hip work oh on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very oh God. Cool. All right. He's not. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, that's nice right here. Oh, got him there with the head kick. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. All right. Knock him out. Knock him out. Okay. Well, he's in a couple that was a move and a half. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. He's having his way with him here. Dang, I don't like this position. Yeah, honestly, just get up. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Oh, God. Good shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. And he connects with the punch. Big oh, God. Lands. The big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. What a fantastic All right, let's just try and uh, play defense exact right, moment. right now. Won't finish this fight. Masvidal's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, that's okay. straight punch. Knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really okay. put his opponent on notice. We knocked him out, which was great. Or not knocked him out, we knocked him down. All right, there's the end but of the not round, out. So it was a huge yeah, look at that. to the head that stole his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big strike. You were hurt by a big strike. Yeah, yeah I know. Okay. We're not going to watch that. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's go. Fight. 
who blocks the shot. Misses with How, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. All right. Oh, God. All right, get back there. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Did some good shots tonight, but there's no three. This fight's going to be over. All right, got him. Punch him. Get him out. Let's go. Masvidal is down and out. Ooh, that was a match. Yeah. Yeah, what's that? Definitely. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full yeah, definitely. I think boxers are like the skill. hardest he did everything guys to take out. Winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. The official decision is in. All right, let's That's see this uh, double title thing. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute, thirty-seven seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tatera. Well, get that man a second waist, put a belt. All right, we failed our contract bonus, unfortunately. We got injured a bunch of times in like matches and stuff. Only a select handful of guys in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. All right, look at that with a double title on the and you can add his side of the octagon. Absolutely incredible what he accomplished in this arena here tonight. All right, so that was fun. Definitely a pretty big uh, challenge, probably our biggest challenge thus far. Let's see. Call Pantera double champ now after knocking out a game bread fighter for his second UFC title. Can I get a third one? Probably not. I mean, I don't know where I would hold it. But yeah, look at that. That man was out cold. Double champions. Okay, so that count, that somehow counted as a title defense. Oh no. Wait, what? Four title defenses. Oh no, that was from before, okay. All right, contract earned. I'm guessing we can't redo a contract that we failed at. I'm pretty sure. Enter all fights on current contract at Peak Fitness. Win by KO or TKO three times. Honestly, that should not be that hard. Neither will that, but I prefer this. So we'll go with that. Boom. All right, double champ. I know that it sounds like Jose, but pretty soon you're gonna have to decide which can't have both. Uh, I feel better than ever here, so I'm staying right where I'm at. Honestly, I want to move up. I don't know how that would work with our, um, if that counts as, like, consecutive title defenses. Like, do we keep our title, or do we lose it? I'm guessing we lose it, probably. Man. Honestly, I'm, I think we'll go back to our... Lightweight uh, division. Just because Ruthless RL has retired. Okay. Just because I don't know how the consecutive uh, title stuff is going to work. Ain't giving up the belt that easy. You saw that tonight. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, consecutive UFC title defenses. We have four. We got two out of two promotions that we needed. We became double champion. Uh, we have four more wins to go. Also, I have 15 matches left. So, yeah, I feel like we could definitely do a um, 
like finish the goat stuff by the time we're done. I'm pr pretty confident in that. But uh, before we call it an episode, I think we'll just have the one episode, the one uh, match for this episode, because that was pretty impactful. And now we're going up against Islam Makachev, who I'm pretty sure talked trash to us in social media before. So uh, sure, I'll take him on, whatever. But yeah, I think we'll just have the one match for this episode. And if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.